A lump of plasticine sinks. It doesn't displace enough water. When molded into a boat, it floats. It displaces enough water. This pendulum bob sinks the boat. To float the bob, the boat must displace more water. To displace more water, we need a bigger boat. Yippee! Let's mark the water levels. The original water level, the water level with the boat, and the water level with the bob in the boat. Question: How much water do I need to pour in to bring the water level back to the second mark? Could it be hundred and fifty cm cube? It is. Is it a coincidence? Of course not. Up thrust is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced. To stay afloat, a hundred and fifty gram boat must displace hundred and fifty grams of water. Because hundred and fifty grams of water weighs the same as hundred and fifty grams of plasticine. Since the density of water is one gram per cm cube, one hundred and fifty cm cube of water is hundred and fifty grams of water. Question. How much more water do we need to pour in to bring the water level back to the third mark? Sixty-five cm cube. Yippee! Up thrust is equal to the weight of the displaced fluid. To float the sixty-five gram bob, another sixty-five grams of water was displaced. Let's pour away the water we added so that the water is back to the original level. Question: If the pendulum bob is taken out of the boat and dropped into the water, will the water level rise, fall, or remain unchanged? Let's get the bob out of the boat. And the water level falls back to the second line. Let's lower the bob into the water. Do you think the bob will displace sixty-five cm cube of water again? No way. The bob's volume is eight cm cube, so it displaces only eight cm cube of water. The up thrust the bob receives is of course less than its own weight, which is why the bob sinks in the first place. The water level dropped because a bob floating in the boat displaces its own weight of water, whereas a bob sunk to the bottom displaces only its own volume of water.